Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Why don't you guys sit back and enjoy this video? Let's go for a ride. Oh, three trailers here at this Walmart. And the load I'm going to pick up is written in the uh, comments. Must have a good shoe. Velcro. Uh, tabs. Nothing missing. Out of the three trailers at this Walmart, I can't a good shoe. Now, there's two packs of things. I'm stealing the, stealing the tabs out of this one because they got two packs of them in there. Because the trailer I did find that it's got a brand new chute in it, but they didn't finish putting it in. So I'm gonna finish putting it in, but I need these, I need these rivets. So that's what I'm gonna do. The trailer I just took those rivets from, again, it had two packs of rivets in there. I don't know why, but, uh, oh, shoot. It, um, the chute in there, it's not in bad shape, but they ripped about six of the rivets out of the sides on both sides, so the chute's torn. So you can put new rivets in, just punch new holes in the chute. The trailer across from it, the, uh, same thing, the chute's been ripped down and somebody stuck forks through the ceiling of that trailer. So, <sighs> this trailer here, I open it up and it's like, oh yes, it's the last one they have. It's got a brand new chute in it. And then I noticed, I noticed, there it is right there. Um, I noticed that uh, the chute looked funny. And I found it was, wait, that shoot's too short. And as you can see, it's hanging in there now. That's because I unwrapped it. It was all folded up on itself and tucked up in there because it was never completely installed. The, uh, there's no Velcro on the chute to uh, Velcro it up. So I'm going to drive some rivets into it to put it in place. And you guys can go along and watch how that's done. Okay. Oh. Now I'm going to get before and after pictures because Prime will pay me for fixing it. Oh, uh, and I'm going to put, I'm going to put latex gloves on so it's easier to work with, but I don't want to get my hands dirty because you guys know me, I don't like it dirty. And not only that, there's, I want to get my truck all dirty. I'm not a flat better now. Okay, so this is how the reefer life works. Don't hate on me, flat betters. The truck's gonna go ahead and shut off here. That's all right. Grab a hammer. Let's go in here and do this. Oh, my thing's loose. Let me try to tighten that up. I can feel it ready to fall off. Okay. There we go. Let's watch how it's done. Hopefully I don't get my fat body in there too much. Ugh. Oh, there's a screwdriver. This is where the head gear comes in handy.
Now, I might have to get an actual real screwdriver to do this. We'll see. screwdriver because that require too much effort. So let's try this. You put a fat guy to work and <laughs> we just lined up. I don't want any pins missing, but I'm sure there don't really need any pins. I ain't taking that chance. We're going to go ahead and put them all in.
to use those holes over there on these ones is when I pull the tarp to it, it's stretched too flat and I don't want any problems with want any problems with them saying the tarp's not upright. The shoot, I mean like you call it a tarp shoot. It's not right. So I'm just protecting myself. Hopefully this will get me through there. I'm probably being overly paranoid because we all know that these places, half the time when they said, when they say, you know, this has got to be that, that's got to be this, they don't even freaking look. See, this hole don't even line up. So I'm going to make a new one. They don't even look to see if the stuff's right. So I'm not checking that shaft, guys. Sure, Jeremy and Lucas will have something to say about me being paranoid. All I'm gonna say is like a trailer. Like a trailer. Not your trailer. More than likely, because this trailer wasn't locked, somebody came in here and stole these pins. Uh-huh. How about that, Mr. Wilsterman? Mr. Brown. Bet you guys didn't take that. There. She's up. We're good. That, guys, is how you knock a put up a tarp that's falling down. London Bridges is no longer falling down. And there's a couple of extra pins I'll put in the front of this trailer. There you go. Uh, that's that boom boom saloon. As you see, it's a pretty new tarp. I didn't get video of those other tarps because I'm too fat to be getting in and out of these trailers. But the one trailer, tarp was all torn up and it was ripped holes right up in here. Um, so I'll let them know that they got a couple of trailers here that need a little love. But. Yeah, that's how cold it is. And I'm sitting there saying it's hot. Like, comment, subscribe. Ring the bell. Hey, dude, you out here? You can ring the bell for me? I don't think we'll ring the bell. You guys want to see a fat boy fall out of a trailer while holding the phone? Watch this. Three points of contact. Always. Okay, so that's it, boys and girls. You guys have a good one. We'll talk to you guys later.